Hey guys, this is the Rookie Worm. Basically want to give you a little rundown of something I've had in my head for a couple of days now. It was to do with social media and how social media can change and how social media affects certain people in certain ways. So certain things like um, you see on social media, a person's got a perfect life, a perfect family, a perfect world, a perfect little bubble they live in. From my experience, and I don't know if experience from other people that are watching this video, perfect doesn't exist. I've said it, I've said it, perfect, in my opinion, doesn't exist. There's no such thing as perfect. In real worlds, you just live life. You live life to your fullest, you live it to the poten potential you are. Never give up, never surrender. That's off the quote, I'm sure. Never give up, never surrender. What's that off? No, never give up, never surrender. Anyway, forget about it. I wanted to say how precious life is, like how things have changed in my life from what I've done and how uh, people should eventually have a break for social media. Social media is a very big platform like Twitter's and your Instagram and your Facebooks and stuff like that. These are big massive platforms that affect us in so many different ways. People can't put, recently they can't put mobile phones down, they seem to be always on the mobile phone. Either that through Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and sometimes it's TikTok trying to make videos and I fear enough of them making videos is perfect. My other half told me a couple of weeks ago that um, in, in, there was a person on Instagram or Facebook, I'm not really sure which platform it was and she decided that she wanted a few likes so what she used to do is she used to dress up in really fancy, really posh clothes and stuff like that and go to a nice car park, find a car park, find the nicest car in that car park, be that a Lamborghini or a Porsche, I know in Wales, it's not much of a car park if it's got a Lamborghini and Porsche and you'd be lucky to get a Nissan Micro and a freaking GTR in the same place. You never will. Chances are you get a bug. A Nissan bug or something like that, whatever they're called. Uh, and basically what she'd happen, off topic slightly, sorry, I always get off topic. And what happened is that halfway through she was taking pictures of herself by the really posh cars and posting it to Instagram. So when she was in Instagram, people were like, oh my god, is that your car? Oh my god, is that your car? Yeah, wow, and then getting followers and building stuff. Now, I know started YouTube, once I started YouTube, I've noticed a lot of things that people are trying to fake a lot of things nowadays. They're trying to push for likes, trying to push for subs and trying to push for that. There's no need to do that. If your content's that good enough, your content's good. I know I've gone off topic a tiny bit, but YouTube I'm going to lock onto again. If your content's really good and you enjoy what you do, eventually the likes will come and stuff like that. You don't need to be these foreign people that try and pay for the views and try and pay for this, try and pay for their subscribers, because you're just lying to yourself, basically. You're just lying to yourself. I know Google advertisers do stuff like that where you can pay advertising, which will boost your advertising all around the UK and all around the USA and all around Europe and Asia and stuff like that. And that's a bit different, going off topic again. But I wanted to say how much uh, social media on, on the platform has changed. People nowadays seem to always have it in their mobile phones, Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Like I said, there's loads of things that's always going on. So it's very good to have a break from social media now and then. You can have breaks. I always recommend having a week off or two weeks off. My, one of my mates said in one of his videos on Instagram a couple of months ago, it's always good to have a little break from Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, like I keep saying. It's very... It's just good for the mental block. You kind of get stuck in your own little, in your own world, I suppose, when you've got your Instagram going. You kind of see yourself in this whole thing. People are crying out for likes and trying to, crying out to be loved and they want attention and all this thing. But I'm basically just trying to say be true to yourself. Like things will always test you in life. I'm going off topic a tiny bit, but things will always test you in life. Be that someone will die in a, your life, you'd be like your nan, your granddad, now I lost my granddad and my nan when I was both young. So it kind of puts a block on things, you kind of keep things held in because you're not too sure how to release it and how to talk and how to get your emotions out. Now the, what happened to me is that I was very fortunate that I had a couple of relationships, they both broke down sadly and I didn't want to do them anymore, they just kind of broke. But then it made way, it made room for more stuff in my life. It gave me a life experience, life experience which most people nowadays think they have but they don't have. So most younger generations just assume they've been in school for fucking 17 years so they've just got life experience. See, they also know how to get in life. But that's not how it is. I was very fortunate that I had what I had. I, got, I had a good job. I had all that kind of stuff but some stuff broke down. I've had jobs that I've liked, jobs I've hated. I've had uh, girlfriends I've liked, girlfriends I've hated. But then I met my other half who wasn't looking for it. I never looked for, I've come out of a relationship after two years or a year and a bit. 
didn't want anything to do with relationships, had enough, didn't want to do anything. But then how, it's funny how life changes. I got so into, into this relationship, become friends, and then we become best friends, and then more than best friends, and eventually become partners. And partners, and then we went to somebody else, and become uh, more partners, and then eventually we started dating. Realised we had so much in common, and we've been together for a year, about a year now, which is really good. Coming up to a year now, on the 13th of May, I believe, our anniversary is. See, never forget, never forget. But basically, I just wanted to say that, that things changed. Like, I never had the confidence and stuff like that when I was younger. People always say to me sometimes, you're, you're full of confidence, you're full of confidence, you got this, you got that. If you met me a couple more years ago, you wouldn't have seen me as the same person I am today. Talking in front of cameras and doing media and doing YouTube and stuff like that and projecting my voice. I hated my voice. I genuinely, and I still do hate my voice. But I've, I've learned to live with it and get on with it because I like what I do. I've started doing YouTube. It's a Divuki channel. This will be on the Divuki channel. I've started doing YouTube. Really enjoyed what I do. It's, it's fun to game. I know I get a lot of criticism by, I get some likes and some dislikes and so, but that's the way life is. Not everybody's gonna like you. It's like Jack Jacksepticeye. He can have one million views. Half of them views will be likes, and half of them will be fucking hating comments and hate things. That's basically how life is. Nobody likes to see you get successful. No one likes to see it. No one likes success. Especially if it's not them and they can't do it. They'll get jealous and they'll aim to try and boost you and they'll try and get their anger out. We've had on a few events, like I work for Dust of Dawn Events, which is a ghost hunting team based in Nottingham. Travel all around the country and onto a location right at the minute. And uh, we have people that try and try and hate us. They'll, they'll like our stuff and they'll try and boost it and they'll say, oh, I hate it, shit ghost hunting team, hate doing this, hate... But there's nothing wrong. We haven't done anything wrong. It's basically just that one person that just hates, hates success, hates you being successful kind of thing. So that's what I wanted to say. I don't know how it was going to react on Facebook, how I feel about things, but what I will say is have a break from social media. Definitely recommend having a break from social media, especially nowadays. Like when I was younger, we didn't have internet. We used to play outside. We had dial-up on PCs on one of these massive computer screens that literally you couldn't do anything. You had to, if you wanted to phone anybody, you had to wait for the phone to go down. You had the whatever it was. I can't do the, the tone, but you get what I'm talking about. So that's how I'm, I wanted to say. I don't know how it'll be welcomed in society and if I do post it, if I do post it, how it'll be. But this is how social media has changed the world. People are just so hung up on social media and how the life is and how the world is. I just want you to enjoy your life, enjoy it. Don't try and focus on not being good at this, not having a perfect job, not perfect life, not perfect this, not perfect that. Like I said, sometimes perfect doesn't exist, I'm afraid. In my opinion, perfect doesn't exist. You can't have a perfect relationship. Perfect this, perfect that. If anybody tells you it's perfect, there's nine out of ten they're usually lying. They're lying when they say they're perfect. They always say I've got. They always take this picture on Facebook and put it on Facebook or Instagram. My perfect relationship. Bollocks. No one has a perfect relationship. You always hate each other. I might though off. After a few years of us, she probably hate me. She probably hate me and want me to be cut up in pieces and chucked in the wood. But that's how life is, and I probably feel the same way to here, but we still fucking love each other a bit. Everybody hates each other relationships at some point in time. It'd be that their voice does your head in one day because you're in a bad mood. Something will happen that you've been driving and some people will piss you off and you'll take it out on your other half, or you'll take it out on your partner or your fellow or whoever you're with at the time. That's how life is. Basically, life is there designed to test you, test you to the fucking limit. But then you have the good days, where you look at the person and you think, how can I cope without you in it? You pushed me to be a better person. And I hope people out there would find themselves in a relationship where after a year, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten years to been together, you still have the same feelings. If you don't have the same feelings, what are you doing in that relationship? Get out of that relationship. That's basically cows! Sorry, I'm from Wales. What to expect? A sheep. Sheep! Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Head over to the Vuki channel. Why have you not subscribed? And why have you not hit that bell button? Why have you not liked my content? Why have you not done the dislike buttons? Basically, why not? Why, 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 I am on the way to Wolverhampton to the crying house. This is the Vuki one. Peace.